so if I just so I have good recollection of what happened last time, we were about to uh, attack the necromancer, right? Because we were like staring at the field full of like skeletons and whatnot. We're watching him do the fails creation of the uh, or uh, he's working on the chimera, the bone yeah, chimera, the, the, the big one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the bone amalgamation. Right. Yeah, we, we haven't attacked. We haven't done anything. We're kind of just at the edge of the woods. Yeah, well, we yeah, just saw it, it, or some of us saw it. Yeah. We're stalker. In a non-creepy way. Yeah. So does the does the DM wish to set the scene once more? Because we haven't played it over a month. Jester, you okay? Give him a moment. He was still setting up stuff. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I want to be thorough. Valid. Hey, this is good. This is going to be a challenge. Fun. <laughs> You have no idea. <laughs> yep, I already told him I had a backup character for my backup character. Damn. I don't even have a backup character. That's why I was like, backup character? Did I not get a memo? <laughs> I told you when you interviewed for this game, of no, I know. the possibility of you dying is <laughs> I'm, very high. I will I, never I know, make I, a backup. I, so I've learned through myself that I will never make a backup character until a character dies. Otherwise, yeah. you just get hyped for the other character. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I it's like because I'd love to draw it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause... Also, like, well, it really depends. You say it's going to be a very difficult encounter, but it depends. But anyone would like to take off this delicious platter of cheese? I'm not that cheesy. Uh, I don't fucking get it. He says we're going to cheese. The, he says we could cheese the fight. We, we could attempt to cheese the fight. <laughs> what do you I fucking don't know. mean cheese the fight? If oh, we I, can I, figure I, out a way I, I to beat the fight I without have having a fight, I will love to have that fight. <laughs> I, I was going. I was going to say. Part of our job is to kill the necromancer, remember? Just, yeah, we're going to kill him, but yeah. who says we're going to have a, ha, actually fight him directly? I love that as the rogue. Let's do that. <laughs> Fighter would follow along Silas, but he'd be very sad at the end. Well then. Oh, don't worry, you can, gets... still, you can still crack his skull in. That's perfectly fine. I have you the have his... Weapon, his skulls. <laughs> I have warning. Yeah. So, just to make sure, you said he's in a, in a, in a uh, mausoleum, correct? Temple. Temple. Okay. Uh, he's got he's one at bone the entrance of a temple. Uh, one bone amalgamation. How many skeletons? I never gave you a fucking number. No, but he's asking. We'll, we'll probably get that lonely. <laughs> They're uncountable. That's a lot. Okay, so a lot of skeletons. <laughs> I can yeah. see you writing a ledger. He was telling me lot. they're not <laughs> up and moving just yet. They're just okay, there. So, like, no, how, okay, was, I, it's thousands more, oh, so. upon thousands of just random okay, bones. Active are skeletons. Oh, okay. is what I mean. Active yeah. skeletons? None that you can see. Yep. Okay. But he's, a, he's a necromancer, so it's, you know, it's pretty. It's going to be add ons if we aggro uh, him. <laughs> so, uh,. You said we saw him cast uh, a spell and create the amalgamation, correct? No, you saw his um, you saw his staff go active, and then the uh, amalgamation appeared. Okay, so he didn't actually cast a spell; he just used the staff. And then he placed the stone aware, on the sure. skull thing, and it came to life. Could I do an arcana check to see what to see if like figure out if Have he cast a spell straight it or? Uh, yeah, what? we've been okay. Just had to make sure. <laughs> I yeah. mean, I caught the like halfway point of the hot dog discussion. So yeah. Yeah, we're always streaming. Uh, we're streaming for a while, actually. I'd be cutting out a lot of the stuff for the YouTube purposes, but yeah, yeah. Twitch is fine. <laughs> okay, but yes. As long so... as you don't say certain words, Twitch is fine. Oh no, it, it's to no. You can <laughs> cuss whatever you want as long as you don't do anything oh. sexual. And oh, nobody's taking off their I, shirt, so okay. it's all good. Oh damn, this is no, shit. <laughs> no, no. I, I, apparently, you can't say the R word. Yeah, you can't say R. You R. Can't Which one? That word. R E T A R E. Yeah, just say R E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. you just say R E. Yeah, R E is enough. Yeah. R E is enough. Yeah, because but but you know what? You can't swear and you can't say certain words, but you can have sex on stream and you only get a seven day ban. I'm just telling you that now. Oh you, wait. What? Wait, I'm not thing? kidding. That that so a streamer got caught having sex on stream while they were streaming, and they did this knowingly, and it was caught, and they got a seven day ban. Okay, That's all they got. The fuck. No, so I know it's Twitch gonna why. look super jank, but this is the this Hi, is Twitch. the um <laughs> the um, I Twitch you soulless bitch. Well, and then uh, the, the I battle just got map from Twitch. So hush. Okay, uh, okay, this okay. is going to be the battle map you guys will have to deal with. Okay. Um, I just see a sunset. Uh, but yeah, so I'm give going to be moment. changing it over, so give me a moment. And yes, you can cho do an arcana check. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, is it, like, is it the staff creating the magic, or is he like using it as a, as a focus, basically? Ooh! <laughs> that's, uh, you that's, have no fucking idea. 
my mind has failed me. Uh, you, you know. can't tell whether if he's the one who created the construct or undead creature, you don't know what the fuck it is right now, but you do know that something was cast. Okay, so at the very least, he's at the very least he's using those staff as a focus. So potentially disarming this hold on, okay, I'll do it. I'll say it's in character. So potentially with disarming disarming this man of his staff, we could somewhat disable his abilities. That could be a plan, but how will we so, about it? I mean, even if even if the staff doesn't watch the magic, it would still limit his casting capabilities without, without his focus. So let me set the stage for you guys. What you are seeing? Can I get uh, perception checks, all of you, with advantage because it's pretty bright out? Yep. Oh, and there's I... literally nothing blocking your views. Seventeen. Oh, Jesus! That oh, is Jesus. two obvious numbers. Oh, thank you for the advantage. <laughs> I'm getting there. Just give me a second. One. Okay. Time's up. <laughs> Let's see. That was a perception. There we go. Oh, just there. Hey. I I see things. Uh, I smell some bullshit. All right. Uh, hold on. Uh, so uh, with your perception, 18, 24, 17, 23. The only person who doesn't really like see as well is Sam. I'm playing with Sparky. Totally about it. Sparky, Sparky, boom, boom. Yep, Sparky, Sparky, go boom, boom. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, allow me to reveal uh, what you all see. You, uh, however, Sam, you won't need your super sight in order to see what he raises. As uh, you get a closer look at this necromancer, he seems to be a normal human being. Uh, relatively short hair. Um, uh, seems to have a sickly green skin to him. Something is not right with this person. Um, he wears, of course, the uh, robes of a necromancer, also sickly green. Um, seems to be tattered in some places. The staff he uses uh, seems to be emanating very powerful energy, and um, his eyes also seem to have a glowing, emissive essence coming off of them. Uh, you see these dark green veins all over his face and arms and his hands, sort of even giving more indication that he's not, he's not, whatever is happening to this individual, it is not okay by any medical standards um you see that as the magic um sort of transform and um uh causes the bones to converge you see that many different parts come to form just this absolute aberration monstrosity kind of thing seems to have a long snaking spine that seems to stretch out about 15 feet longer than what it should. Uh, you see that it is upheld by these long spider-like limbs on the fore end uh, that house uh, very long spindly um, fingers. Uh, the head that it takes place kind of resembles that of a giant but its face is sort of missing so all the bones converge and form a space so that it's like sealed up so now instead of like two eyes it has seven just adorned in all sorts of different places you see that its teeth are like the spinal cords of human being okay so the thing's big oh it is it is considered huge size oh fuck me oh uh, question. And the eyes... Allow me to actually show you what he looks like. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, gee. Mm. You find <laughs> the most <laughs> interesting <laughs> art. <laughs> I love the dude yeah. just with the shovel is like, well, this is my fucking life. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, he's like, it's like the hand on the hip kind of sideways. He's just like, well, oh, well, this is my life now. Fuck it. Well, I lived a good life. <laughs> no, yeah. It's more like, well, <laughs> or it's, uh, or it's like, hey, Jim. Hey, Bob. Where, where is this Jim that's placed on this creature? Jim. Jim is the creature. No, she's talking about the magical artifact. It's placed into the middle of its 
torso where you can see that it it has sort of a makeshift kind of bone cage and you see that the bone cage it seems to have magical distortion surrounding it oh so it's not easy uh, crap oh come on uh, so when you say torso uh, is it on its chest or back it is it is barely holding itself up with the long spiderly limbs and like the long tail that uh, it kind of drags behind a little bit the other end of it because it can't hold up its entire like body i need you guys yeah uh well the lower half of it anyway yeah i need you guys to place yourselves over here by the way uh where's here down here here. okay um i'm trying to find some software so that i can make like recordings of my voice so i can make like my own style of voices into the things to make it more creepy whenever i'm going for effect because discord doesn't like it discord doesn't like sounds they like voices but not sound exactly um um as you are all sitting there watching this the giant monster it's what like the closest thing you can tell is like it's just an affront to nature Fascinating. It's going, well, it's making weird, like chirping and guttural noises. It's going, I think I've ever seen it before, to be honest. Fascinating. Oh, oh. But unfortunately, as, as interesting as that creature is, we are, we are, I think we're going to definitely have to get through it to get to our target. Yeah, we uh, definitely have to just burn it in. Hmm. Yeah, you well, see them be... walking around. Well, that could be good for us. As far as, far as I can t- well, most most undead aren't going to get most intelligent of creatures without a, without a will to, to focus them. So, getting around it might be might be slightly easier with with him gone. You see, it's like head sort of crock to the side. Towards our direction. Hear a low a low pitched squeal as it like turns its head. Uh, is it, does it turn heads towards us where? or somewhere else? Its eyes go towards you. Uh, fuck. Well, well, that confirms my, th- my, my curiosity as whether or not those eyes are functional. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, t- well. Time to, inv- time to improvise. I, I think it's... Oh. Yeah, if you well, have I thought a we've plan. been improvising from the start. Do it now. Well, 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 it's quite simple. Look at it. Not structurally sound, a bit muddled together. Can barely hold its own weight. And it just moved oh. fast. Yes. And it is okay. here. Hide. <laughs> <laughs> She's mm. going to jump and hide. Up into the yeah. Uh, I ain't good at those. I mean, we could still try for it. Yeah. Uh, we could do a collective party roll. See if one of us succeed. Ah, oh, fudge. Yeah. yeah. Like, I will try and hide. Oh, Sam, Sam has not been rolling well. <laughs> I got 16 on a bat, on a fucking. With a oh. one. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, roll 20. Oh my god. Awesome. Uh, it's a bird. The boy. <laughs> The fighter who's wearing heavy plays at a disadvantage still rolls a 16. I'm in the way, I need everyone to make initiative rolls. It's time Aww. for combat. Make sure to click your token. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Got to clear. Got to clear. Got to clear. God damn it. Got to clear. <laughs> okay. Well, roll the initiative again. Oh. Make sure to click your token. You had to clear out the from last one, probably. I'll click it again, but I'm keeping my number. Nope. You have to suffer. Kidding. What? <laughs> I was gonna say I, I'd gladly take my my new one. Fuck. So I don't get to take my old number? No, you do. No, yeah. I'm kidding no, around. Do. Oh. I'm joking. Okay. I was Jesus. like, hold on. Um, that was a good number. <laughs> okay, so let me just edit these. Um, Alcan has a fifteen. Yep. Rita had a. I already edited mine. Uh, twenty. So she'll. Uh, Hey, fist me. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Good thing it was initiative and not battle roll. Yeah, enjoying uh, your drink over there, Captain. Nine. Because I, the one doesn't count. God, I fucking, I fucking hate gnats. They are pain in my ass. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to change my thing. Charles Blake. Mother. I hate gnats. Okay. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, interesting. It was never what, fast what? to begin with. What was that about hating, hating gnats? <laughs> I love you're not faster than it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're okay. slightly uh, faster than it. Here. Exactly. No, you just got the jump on it because you saw it moving. 
Uh, Rita, you're up first. Uh, shh. Is that aware of a plan? Well, the plan yeah. being murder. Yeah. Well, yeah. here's the plan. <laughs> murder. Uh, unfortunately, you guys never said you were whispering. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's fine, but it was implied since we were hiding in a bush. <laughs> so, hiding in a bush. Hopefully my stealth rope was okay. I am going to pull out some cloth and look around and now I'm going to do minor illusion and create some sound over here. Sounding like chatter and whatnot. Right here? Over here. Ah. Yeah, right right yeah. here. Yep. Right here. Okay. Okay. And I don't know if it knows I'm hiding or not, so I'm just going to stay hidden right now. And I'll go call it her. Okay. <laughs> The bone chimera, or whatever this creature is, but you, I call it a bone chimera, doesn't even slow its pace down while charging when it hears the noise. It seems committed. Uh, Sam. Okay, so I'm going to move that away. Be right there. I'm going to do a good old fireball. Or sorry, a produce flame. Okay. Does a 10 hit? Not even close. Thought so. Okay, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to command uh, Sparky. And Sparky's just going to charge straight up. You pull that battle music right now. Do, 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 do. That's going to And trying to find some appropriate that is not copyright, so. Oh, I, I can find some. Sparky rolls a 20. So you should do hits. let me know I'll unmute bot. Or what exactly? Mm. What's going on? Uh, Sparky rolls a 23 for his flame seed attack. And it's an uh, attack. What does Flame Seed do? Uh, it's it's just an, his attack. It's a uh, range 60 feet. One target you can see, and then just roll the attack and then damage. So does it hit? Yeah. 23. That's six fire damage. Basically, Sparky is like trying to be like big and creating noise and trying to be as visible. Basically, creating a distraction. As also. you, uh, as your Flame Spirit decides to use this ability. Um, hold on. Let me let me pull this up. Is it copyright? Uh, I don't. I it's don't fine. Know. You could play it. I'll just have my thing on mute. Anyhow, I have to find new music anyhow to play in the background because I cut out a lot of dead air. What the fuck? What? Struggle? I I really hate it when you fucking do this bullshit. I don't think it's copyrighted as far as as far as I'm aware. There we go. So what song is it? There we go. No. Uh, Mass of Undead. No, yeah, this isn't. I don't think it is. It's a battle track. Uh, I don't think it's going to be right. Sorry, it, no, it, it's, it, it, it says Caleb, so I assume. Oh, well, like I said, you can play it. I just have it muted. So as your flame spirit launches forth its fire attack, you see it hit the creature and the bright gemstone pulsates with power and the flame gets absorbed into the gem itself. Uh, this is doing absolutely nothing. This is the red gem, right? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Fuck me. And yeah. it's my turn. You know, it's cuts out some damage for quite a few of us because we know what the gem does. Well, technically, no, you don't. It was well, never we, researched. We have well, an we idea told, now. Yeah, we have an idea. Let me phrase that. We have an idea yeah. of what the gem does. Like, we got a general overview from when we got the mission. Good for you. Some of us don't. Okay, well, Talkin. Yep, Talkin is going to. I'm still stealth. Do I just fucking stay here? I don't, I, I had rolled a six. He's charging towards us. I mean, <laughs> it looks like it. I'm letting you guys know it was initiative before I could even roll to see if I could sneak, so. It's fine. There yeah, was well, some pretty low had, sneak skills. It was also yeah. attacked, so. That was several sevens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this thing is huge, so it has a 10 foot reach, if I remember correctly, because it's huge. I, I'm going to set up between right right here. It's 15 feet. And I want to be in between Silas and try You're to keep myself. Up what? I'm oh, trying okay. to keep myself. I'm trying to basically I'm going to ready an action to attack it if it comes within my range. OK. And that's my turn. So you're Silas. still hiding, trying to get a uh, whack on this thing, correct? Yeah. yeah. OK, so I was going to look at the creature and goes, OK, OK, everybody weak legs. Take take take, take those out, get it to the ground. Get the gem out of his, get the gem out. Yeah, it's no legs. Everyone okay with that plan? No objections? Good, great. I can try. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to ready an action for now, since casting magic on this thing doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Hey, what is this action going to be? Uh, it is going to be to cast enlarge on uh, tackle once he once he gets within range. Once he once he once he attempts to attack it. Uh, d don't don't worry about casting enlarge on me. I am a rune knight, so I can yeah, automatically but, make well, myself large. Yeah, but then you can make yourself huge. Yeah. I, oh, okay. It's <laughs> never mind. Stacks. I did not know that. Yeah, though know, you can combine a large with a rune knight just to make them huge. It, it doesn't change your size to large. It increases your size by one category. Oh, well then. <laughs> a nice big beefy target. <laughs> a battle of giants. Battle of Titans. Charles. Jackson and Lodge would have got some All right, well, blasted. I ain't, ain't one for friggin' hiding. Let me just blast this fucker. Foot oh, movement. I'm getting back. <laughs> run, run, run for Sir Brave Robin. I have 14 hit points. I, I can still laugh at <laughs> no you. No calling out <laughs> HP. Come on. Mm. It has I mean, it's my max, so. Minute. It has been a hot minute, so there's going to be hmm. some things we forgot. Yeah, sorry. Charles. I was rolling. Give me a second. Boom. Oh, whoops. I had disadvantage on my bed. But 24, does that hit? Yeah, that hits. Okay, for 20 radiant damage. What are the effects? What's the effect on it? It also gets a... Uh, next person that attacks gets advantage. Yes, but we're it hoping depends. that it actually hurt it and not get sucked in. Yeah, it depends what the yeah. gem does. Yeah, so as long as we can get 10 well, to see what, what You're does. about to find out. Mm hmm as he casts it forth, you quickly realize that this gem has anti-magical properties. Ah, knew it. So that gets cancelled out as well. It gets absorbed, not cancelled. Hmm. I you blasted bastard. That means I need to hit you with me hammer. All right. I'll move forward my, my 30 feet. I'm starting to head towards the battle. That's my turn. I'm a, aim for the legs. And by the way, I have my warhammer. Oops, wrong thing. Okay. Uh... And enlarge. <laughs> I don't think I can. Add, oh wait, maybe I can't add my well, size. Well, wait, 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 wait until he attacks. Like, see if he gets the advantage. Wait till he gets the. Wait, I said wait until uh, as he's attacking. Well, I mean, so, yeah. he does move into my space, so I yeah. attack with my style. I guess we'll have Yeah. Add a d4. Well, well, I need to make my character <laughs> big, so. Well, I don't think you can. Normally, that. that would happen. It would happen, but the anti magic. Oh, it's a no, field. The anti, the, uh, yeah, the anti magic is a field. Yep. Well, I I'm still swinging with the axe. I'm a wizard. Um. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Harry. I'm swinging. Yeah, no, that does I know hit. exactly what I'm doing next few rounds. That's 15 slash. Okay. That's that was my held action. And it is great axe is um is slashing, slashing. damage. Uh yes. So it does half. Well, it's, mm. yeah, but it's also a magical weapon because it's plus two. So yeah. it's it's better than using a maul. Which is not magical. Unless weapon, it's so. well, it depends if it's if it's a if it's immune to uh, non magical slashing damage or just straight immune to slashing damage or resistance anyway. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the bone chimera's attack. Okay. So wait, just to make sure, it is still less effective even though it's magical. Well, it is magical, so it is going to affect him. Yes. Okay. It's just the magical part won't affect him like it. The hitting him with the weapon does. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, by magic, that yeah, the plus two plus two doesn't it shouldn't be a thing. Oh uh, fuck. Yep. Like I said, the possibility of you guys dying this round is very high. Hush. Very, very high. First oh, off. Blunt weapons, everyone, blunt weapons. Break some bones. <laughs> it's going to use a bonus action in order to spew forth a fiery skull from its mouth. And so I like need the dragon's breath? Sam. No. It's just a skull that's on fire. Okay. Uh, and um, Sam, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. You can do it, Sam. 15. Well, well you do succeed, but you'll take, take half as much as this damage. So you take six. No. Oh, two. Half as much as 2d8. Unfortunately, it didn't fill out the thing properly. Anyway, uh, I'm just showing it to you. If you want to go that later, I can probably help, help, uh, help you over there. If you put the 2d8 in brackets, it'll roll for you. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Or dash R2 d8. That's max damage. <laughs> so <laughs> six damage. Oh, no, 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 no. Not max damage. It's, it's four below max. Yeah. It's four yeah. below max. So you take six. Still not nice. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah. lot better than taking s th taking eight. Twelve. Yep. Okay. Yep. So you take uh, six points of damage. It's going to use its mm -hmm. normal attack, which it has multi attack against. Uh, Talkin. Are you rolling with advantage? No. So it's 16 and 23. Okay. Yep. So the, the first one matches, the second one's over. 
Okay, so they're both hit. Yep. Um, okay, so I'm going to use my rune. I'm going to use cloud rune. What does that do? Uh, I can redirect it to a target of my choice if it wants them to fucking click. Is the rune magical? Nope. It is just power. It's just something I can do. Power. Uh, it does not. It does not. It's, 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 not spell I, effects. it's not a spell effect. Mm. It's literally just a rune from my ancestors. That's how it's explained in the ruling. And there's okay. it's it's just it's just a it's just a power. It's uh, I guess supernatural. It's kind of like how, the how tiefling okay. ability. Okay. So to who are you fire. going to sacrifice? I'm sacrificing. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sacrificing your pet. Oh no! Wait, doesn't it explode on death? I mean, go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. That's why you're yeah, there. So. I'm I'm pushing the 14 over onto the flaming animal, and I'll be taking the 10. Okay. Okay. So it's 14, just slashing just 14, damage. Yep. 14 slashing damage. Hey, do you got it down? Yep. Because there your you health hasn't changed. Okay, there it goes. And now it will do its last attack, which is a can hit. It's gonna. Yep. It's just gonna hit Tolkien and Charles with its tail. Ooh. Eight. No hit. In a 16, that'll actually miss me. No, it's an 8. Oh, it's, advantage. it's an 8. Yeah. Oh, it's just an 8? Yeah, it's yeah. not advantage. He doesn't have advantage. Oh, sorry, my brain. You're good. That's why I asked at the beginning, too. Yep. So, no damage. Uh, question. Uh, oh, never mind. I see it. All right. Up next. Uh, oh. Uh, Drew, Rita. Go. Yeah. I don't have any weapons, per se, to really harm said creature. And seeing that it is apparently anti-magic. I'm going to do the smartest thing for a rogue and run. Bravely runs away. Well, yes and no. Cowardly runs away. Like I said, kinda. I'm going to move here. For, mm, oh, I have to click here for the first 30 action. Another 30. Make sure I stay out of its range. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Bonus. It's like... Uh, double check everything. Kick me all the way out. Um, bonus action, dash again. So there. Rogues, the masters are running. And that ends my turn. You forgot to move again. I did. Yep. You what? didn't move at all. Yeah, yeah I, I did. They're up here. You moved. They're up here. Okay. Yeah. Is Let it lagging on you? Check. Uh, no. I'll move your token. Move your token up and then down again. That'll fix it. Up and down. All right. Yeah, up and down. Hey, is it moved now? Okay, now it moved. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah, but if, yeah, that is not your fault. Roll twenty. Oh, welcome I to roll twenty. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Rita. Because he set off one of the necromancer's traps. You. Mm, you fuck. Mm. The skeleton <laughs> popped up. Lovely. Sam, it is your turn. Understood. You so. see the. You see Rita, your comrade, just dash forward, trying her best to get to the necromancer as fast as she can. And as Mind soon as reader. she stops moving, you see two skeletons pop out of the bone piles and appear in front of her. Gotcha. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, as Sam, I'm gonna cast Pass Without a Trace while moving. So I'm gonna move out there, up there. Right. So you you used it right uh, here, right? Uh, so no, I I move first and then I cast it. Hey, so you're right here. Yes. Good. That's good news for me. Mm. Another trap. And then, uh, so that's my action, my movement, bonus action. I'm gonna command Sparky. As you Spark cast your pass without a trace, mm -hmm. you weave the little powers in your hand and you see it shatter. Okay. And so you see, as you feel as if you have been counterspelled. It can counterspell? Wait, what? This fucker? Oh, no, not by him. I just said you were counterspelled. He's way out of range. Are you kidding me? He wouldn't be capable. I was like, it can't be the uh, necromancer because there's He's no way you can see out from of that fucking thing. range. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that's, what I thinking, that's what I was thinking. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Who did it? It's a great question. Could I and get then, a perception check from you, Sam? Yes. Ooh, 23. You're looking all around. You're looking very carefully like, who the fuck did it? Who the fuck did it? And then you see something dart away as you see the staff that the necromancer was holding. Just the staff it's by itself. It's darting itself around the battlefield by itself. Oh, yeah. it's, it's familiar. Of the, hmm. Uh, is there a specific location where I can see it at, or it's just? Uh, all... Yes, actually, it, it, it's kind of like circle. Um, if I had to make an example, it's kind of circling 
around this area where all the spellcasters are. Okay, understood. Uh, so, uh, with uh, Sparky's action, he's going to cast, or not cast, but he's going to do a flame seed at the skeleton. That skeleton okay. that's attacking Rita. Why do I imagine it shoot, spitting out a seed that's on fire? That's basically what he's doing. That, that, that is especially the speed. As you yeah. shoot it forth, it goes straight and true, and then it reverses as it gets absorbed. You're still within the range of the anti-magic shield. A magical attack? Now, it uh, basically hmm. absorbs any magic in the area, so yeah, it redirects it's... all the magic in the area to it. Yeah, but is the, is the flame seed attack magic? Should be, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay. Well, then Through its magic, it's still magic. Your 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 wildfire spirit is magic in itself, thus it is casting magic. Understood. Man, this track does not like last long. I wish there was a repeat button for Meep, but you can put it in a loop. I tried loop, but it didn't respond. It was like what's you a add loop? The Q and then put the loop or repeat. <laughs> oh fuck all! It did put it in there. Thank you. Mm. Oh, fuck all! I I will shoot. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, fuck it all. I don't care. Why does it have to be so fucking difficult? Um, Alkin. Yep. So I'm going to use where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, giant smite. Oop. I imbue myself and I make myself large for a minute. And if I can't become large, I still get my advantage on strength, and I get my plus one d6 damage on target on hit. Well, you are within the range of his anti magic, so yeah, no. Okay. Well, I still can get my plus one d6 on damage. Thank you. Okay, no. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to uh, drop my great axe, grab the maul that I have. Why isn't the maul on my list? Oh, it's under hammer for some reason. Well, oh, god damn it. Sorry, give me one second. I need to find the maul and add it. Nothing wants to work right. You know what? Just for the sake of prosperity, I'm going to just swing at the axe for time's sake and then fix it on my way. Yeah. Roll 20 is just wanting to be a bitch, so. So is Discord, apparently. Yeah, I well, it's not even loading my character sheet. Come on. What do you need help with? I just need to swing the axe, and then if I okay. hit, add one d6 damage. Wait, you have a mold, don't you? Yeah, but it's on my sheet. There so, you go. So that's 15 to hit. Oh, oh wait, no, you effective. get advantage. So use... I have advantage, right? So it's 24 to hit. Okay, it yeah. hits. Okay, and then I roll boom plus one d6. So plus nice. Six. So 13 damage. Okay, and that's my turn. Okay. Why isn't my character sheet opening? You strike forth with your um, great axe. Uh, you manage to knock out some of its teeth. Doesn't look happy with you. I'm not happy with it. Silas? <laughs> I'm going to move 30 feet this way to about here. I should be out of its range. Because <laughs> uh, if Sam is, so I should be too. And I'm going to attempt to firebolt this skeleton. Would you have the range for that? Uh, Firebolt has a range of 120 feet. Okay, just thought mm. I ask. Yeah, I do have the range for that. So yeah, I'm going to shoot the skeleton. 20 to hit. Oof. For 7 damage. My skeleton on fire. <laughs> so he's going to end his turn for now. Okay, so... Charles. Charles. Well, you're up. <laughs> I have a question. If I were what? to get on Big Boy and jump up, could I grab onto its ribcage where the crystal is? Good luck. Also try to break its legs to, to, to bring it down to you. Yeah, but me over here, I'm going to it. <laughs> so, big boy, you feel somebody climb up on you for a second? <laughs> uh, again, try. I'm not saying you can. I'm saying try. All right. What do I need to roll? Acrobatics. I imagine athletics for climbing and grappling. Acrobatics. Oh. That one. <laughs> Uh, you fall, uh, you actually slip in the mud and fall prone. Oof. All right, so I get back. <laughs> That's my turn, because I believe that, well, well, was that my action? Did you try and do that, I guess? Yeah, that that would be considered one of your actions, so. All right, then my movement would be to get up, that'll be half. Then I'm just going to step forward, and I'm just going to, you know, raise my weapon up like, fuck it. Okay. I move forward by one so I can be in range to actually smack. Okay. Bone Chimera. Is up now. He notices you, Charles Blake. Thus, he will start attacking you. Okay. And that last one is for both uh, Talkin and Charles. The only one that hits is the 22. Yeah, the 15 misses for me and the 16 matches. So, oh, I'm taking the tail right. Okay, so the 16, you must succeed a deck saving throw. Talkin. Uh, saving throw. 14. Uh, you are knocked prone. Uh, 
Uh, you both take 11 slashing damage as one of its, like, spider-like limbs sort of slash at your armor. So I'm assuming that's where the 11 damage is. the mark on it. Uh, which one was the... The slashing should, should be only the for... The slashing was the claw. Okay, yeah, so you said be. there's claw, claw, tail. Who's getting which claw and who's getting which claw? Okay, so only one claw hits. So he was attacking Charles with the claws and hitting the tails with both of you. Okay. Because it can hit multiple enemies with its large tail. So the 22 is the only one that hit me, so that's the 11 damage, correct? Yes. All right. I'm down to... And what does the tail damage do? It's 15 da damage, and I'm knocked prone. Oh. Yep. Which... Um... The creature then will um, use oh, wait, its bonus action to hurl a fiery skull point blank at Charles Blake. That would be at disadvantage because it is using a range attack in the middle of in the middle of a fight. Yep. Well, regardless, you have to make a dexterity saving throw. It's an auto hit. Ah. It's, a draw it's an auto hit. Yeah, it's one of those like specialty ability. like yeah. special abilities. But he does get a sa dex saving throw. All right. Oh, and I need both Charles and Tolkien. I need them both to make constitution saving throws. Um, Charles, you fail. Uh, you'll be taking all of 2d8 damage. It doesn't roll this uh, constitution save, though. Oh, the constitution saving throw? Allow me to show you. Mm. No, I said Charles doesn't roll. So you succeed, Tolkien. Yeah, and you do not feel the effects of the artifact as of yet, but it is oh. unbearably hot where you are. Succeeds, Charles. You barely succeed. You are feeling the effect. However, you do not uh, get a um, level of exhaustion because of this. All right. Also, roll my damage, please. Yep, I'm about to. Sorry, I had to pull up his ability so that way you know what what he's all about. What this. Artifact has one facet of. And that's why I'm trying to get it the fuck out as fast as possible. Fuck this creature. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not messing with the creature. Yeah. I'm going to the source. Uh, so Same the here. skeletons who uh, spawned were at the bottom of the list because they just spawned in. So they yeah. will attack Rita. Uh, miss. And they will, one of them will have advantage because one is flanking. Oh, that's right. Which one? Well, it doesn't matter. One hits. Yeah, only one hit, so it's kind of... Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Uh, it can't save. And you fail. You contract a disease. Lovely. Uh, your vision is starting to get a little blurry. Now you will have disadvantage when it comes to uh, hitting things. Okay, just hitting things. All right. Rita, your turn. Uh, I'm feeling dizzy. Do I see said wand around my area? Wand? I never. There's no wand in your area. What? Oh right. There's Sam a didn't staff. Say that. There's a staff. Okay. Where's and the he staff? He never mentioned. He never mentioned it. Yeah, but I thought my perception row from before with the gnat would help. You did say she would notice that. Yeah. Don't yeah. remember her doing a perception check. We all the rolled a perception beginning? check at the beginning. Yeah, the beginning of the battle. Yeah, but she's not currently looking for the staff, which you never mentioned. I mean, if you're looking in the general direction, if a glowing staff pops your eye vision next to the giant creature that's being created. It's not beside, uh, it's above. Well, that's why I said you had to look around, Sam. Sam's not the one who said that. Is that Talkman did, but uh, whatever. So I'm going to use disengage for my action. Or move. No, for action. So I could get by these people. One, two, three. Five. Ah, I hate counting. You can use the tool. I know, but sometimes it glitches out on me. Yeah, it sometimes does, unfortunately. Okay. That's roll 20 for you. No, it's just me and I suck at tools. Uh, oh, I no. I'm going to use that as a bonus action to disengage. Eh, totally forgot I'm a rogue. That way I can see said necromancer. Uh huh. And I'm going to hope this works. Has sleep on it. Yeah. yeah so that's a 25 hit points. Yep. He has to make a con. Uh, wait a second. No, 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 he doesn't. He no. doesn't have to make any saves. It says left of 25 hit points, he's asleep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please. The necromancer you see is just walking along, like r reading some kind of like scroll, chanting to elf. himself. Huh? I said, you better hope it's on the elf. <laughs> Hush. 
Ch chanting oh, to we know itself. Human. Yeah, I said human, so he yeah. knows what he's talking. He, you see him chanting to himself, and abruptly you see your spell hit a sort of magical barrier over oh, the entrance of the temple. Are you fucking kidding me? What? No, no. How did the staff get out then? Staff has the magical barrier. You gotta the staff is over the here. Staff. Yeah, it casts the barrier. And then Wait, it left. Okay, where is it? The staff? Well, you don't know oh. about it. No, it, there's no way that it can get that far for the casting ring. What do you, uh, the the barrier was up before it left. Like wh when it left, it cast the barrier and then left. Okay, so I can't do shit this way. Great. <laughs> However, the magical barrier up does not apply for sleep, so it does affect him. <sighs> Why do you do this to my heart? God hates you. Well, yes, but still. <gasps> I'm not. Yeah, it's not phone or not. They have less than twenty. Uh, I have cursed to break his neck. You see him wobble a little bit. Realize what's happening and look out the door. Yeah, I am farther away from him that he can't do cow spell on it. I made sure. Oh, so you said he was looking at a scroll. He wasn't even paying attention to the fight. Yeah, yep. but he's farther away that he can't do cow spell on it. I made sure. Yep. I may a hundred percent sure. And on top of it, he was not paying attention to the fight. He couldn't have counter spelled if he, even if he wanted to. He was not paying attention. Uh huh. I was making sure. So. Please be asleep. Sam? No, he's still yes. like he wobbles, but he's oh, still like fuck up. He has more than twenty-five hit points. He Damn has it. more than twenty-five. Barely, but yeah, he oh. does look like he's very gronky. Okay, one more cast. Oh, uh, add a, add a, yeah, one more one more cast might be able to get him down. Yeah, if we roll high enough. Although as that long was a pretty as good roll. Somebody takes care of the staff. Mm -hmm. What staff? You don't know about a staff. I know. I don't know anything yes. about so, it. Sam, the boss of the yeah. staff. I know, I know. Give me one second. I'm doing so better talk can, here. <laughs> Sam continues running right towards the temple, but at the same time, he's going to cast a produced flame, uh, seeing that the, the staff made him angry. He counters, The staff counterspelled him, so he's going to cast a produced flame straight at the staff. See that? The staff seems to hurl itself towards the flame. And it takes the hit, okay. and you see it dart away. <laughs> okay. As Does that have a fucking actual magic thing too? Huh? No, no. He actually it actually takes some damage, but yeah. Oh, so so it did like it basically took the brunt of the damage, the the one yep. fire damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and as I see that the staff actually took the damage, I I yell out to the group and it's like, hey, there's a staff here as well. That would be lovely to know ahead of time. Uh, Sam, as soon as you say that, can I get a wisdom saving throw? For sure. Oh, oh no. Um, oh, that's not good. Okay, uh, you feel demonic whispers in your head as you proceed to take the full brunt of the psychic damage. You take five points of psychic damage, and, um, yeah, uh, you are, uh, any spell you cast against the staff now will have it disadvantage you see sam visibly recoil from from the pain as they, like he clutches his head you hear like maniacal laugh going going <laughs> where exactly is this where's the stuff exactly on the map uh currently it's i i have yet to find a png that seems to fit it so it's like right here above oh uh, just make a dot for the just make a random set. token just make a random token yeah. So okay, no, I'll fucking do that. Give me draw a... something. I'll, I'll draw whatever. something. I'll yeah. draw something. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's so small that regular oh token won't work for it. <laughs> yeah. Just, just do a medium token. Like that's fine. As long as yeah. as long as we can visibly see where it is, it's fine. There we go. <laughs> really? I can't have that. Oh, it's it's so being a dick to you. <laughs> no, I can't you. have that on Twitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, I'll I'll just I'll just air. All right, that's better. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's my turn. Uh, Sparky's just gonna stay where he's at. Uh, does Sparky get an attack? Like a punch or something? True, true. Uh, I command Sparky to to do a a straight punch, just the good the old. Creature? Yep, just okay. punching it in the back. I mean, if it has fists, why not? <laughs> It was super it effective. You kill it. I'm kidding. It is, well, to be fair, it is bludgeoning damage. <laughs> that is true. I mean, you're not yeah. wrong. You are not wrong. <laughs> it's not a very strong spirit, so it's literally just a flat roll. Yeah. No. Any damage is good damage. <laughs> yeah, so. hit. 
It didn't hit. It rolled a two. Yeah, you. It's like it's like that moment where like ah uh, freaking uh oh fuck. What was that blue haired goddess's name from Konosuba? Aqua. Aqua. Yeah, yeah, that oh, chick. Gosh. When it, when when she punched the giant frog and it did nothing. That's what he did. <laughs> yep. And yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, I can do this on the ground. I want to use second wind. Okay. Why? Well, just there we go. I gained seven HP. So I can do this on the ground. Any HP is good HP at this point. I'm then going to, because I have to, stand up. So, Oop. and I'm going to drop my great axe, pull out my maul, and swing with the maul for 18. 18. Good. And then nine damage plus one d6. Nine damage. Well, mm -hmm. no, it's ten damage because I. T ten bludgeon plus... damage. And then I might action surge because let's just get some damage out. Oh. Let's swing again. <laughs> Or 14, I don't think it hits. No. <laughs> no, it does not. Uh, and that is my turn. Quick and efficient. As you attack this chimera, you, si you see a, one of its, like, a large part of its, like, skull that you're attacking. Part of, a large part of its, like, lower jaw just unhinges and breaks off as it growls menacingly down at you guys. Silas? Okay. Also, I'm just realizing... Yeah, so this is actually how, well, uh, so I was going to run up here. But he's running, he's probably going to think to himself, how does a creature made of magic have an anti-magic field and can cast spells through it? That's very contradictory, isn't it? Yeah. Either way, I'm going to move up to uh, here, I believe. Yeah, here. And I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to cast a magic missile on the staff. Uh, just so you're aware, magic missile is an auto-hit. It cannot be dodged. Yes, I know. Uh, or 10 damage. Four. 10 force damage. As it, it turns towards you. Takes the hits, continues flying around and jiddling about. Okay, did it seem to do any actual damage to it, though? Yes, the staff seems to be breaking. Uh, Silas, can I get a perception check, please? Okay, 17. Ooh. Okay, um, uh, okay, this is interesting. Hmm, I'm going to do this really quickly. Um, by the way, that was a pretty impressive magic missile. Because if you rolled below average on all the dice. Hey, it's still pretty impressive, though. <laughs> I know. If you would have rolled average, you would have rolled threes. Well, twos or threes. It, it's all pretty right, good for lower be. levels. Come on. Yeah. Oh, people are dropping. We lost yep. Silas. Oh, they pulled him oh. into the room. Right. Oh, secret. Yeah, right. probably. Yep. They, he, he, should probably, he probably should have said something about moving them to the secret room. Other than just, oh, I'm going to yank them. Because it's well, like, oh, people dropped. Uh, yeah. It happens. <laughs> I just need to do it one more time and that freaking necromancer's asleep. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, I'm planning on doing a flaming sphere on that staff. Well, that should take care of a lot of his things, but I don't know about the creature because it's powered by something else. But, you know. Yeah, no, well, at least, so I'm thinking the flaming sphere on the staff because then once that's down, I can move the flaming sphere into the temple and actually attack the necromancer if he doesn't fall asleep. Flaming sphere doesn't fly. It, there's a barrier. It does. A powered by the staff. What? Oh, yeah. Powered by the staff. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to attack the staff first and then. Oh, he's doing awesome. Yeah. All yeah. See, the, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because I think I can move it 30 feet as a bonus action and then use it to ram. <gasps> I was making sure I wasn't in counter spell range or I wanted to have this end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like, but like, yeah, to, to, the necromancer wasn't even paying attention to the battle. So. One of the things for counter spells that you actually have to see the spellcasters casting the spell. Yeah, but sleep, you don't have to. Nope. I'm also thinking I could probably just do spike growth within the temple itself, just bypass the barrier. It's not like a projectile flying through the barrier, it's just appearing within the temple itself. Does it say so you have to see? Uh, it just says a 20 foot radius centered on a point within range, and the range is 150 feet. It might work, but we yeah. don't know for sure. Yeah. I'm just a little bit worried because it's my last second level spell slot, so it's kind of like, ugh. Uh, yeah, I got one. Left. Yeah, I got some more first levels, but they're not really damage heavy. I have no damage. Well, I take that back. I have one damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, take that back. The level one damage spells that I have are fire spells, so it's burning hands, so. Yeah, okay. You just see Silas, like, look up at this thing, look at it, think as his eyes widen. Stop! Don't attack the staff! Say that one more time. Don't attack the staff. Thank you. Okay. Stop attacking it. Don't, nobody touch it. Go, 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 go for the, go for the necromancer. Just ignore it. Do not break it any further. You're no fun. Did and they just talk? 
Yes, you hear the staff go, you're no fun. No. Oh, yes, yeah, so you like to play, play with idiots, I see. Typical possessed item. Could you be less cliche? Oh. Manipulation, puppetry, all this bullshit. Oh. Hmm. Yes, so you start, you start to get a picture here? Yeah, it's possessed by the neck. Yes, it's yes. Possessing the neck. Yes, we could, we, we could, yes, if we continue to, to, to whack that stick, it's, it's going to break, and it wants to be broken. Capiche? Yep. Everyone understand? Yep. Who's turn is this? Yes, okay. Now, now, now yeah, so Silas is going to uh, go, okay. Now, please, pl pl please, please, gentle fighters, break that thing's legs so I can, so, so I can, so I can fuck up this necromancer. It don't have legs. This thing has legs. I thought it was many arms. No, the, those are many, uh, many, many arms basically acting as its legs. They're, func they're functionally, functionally, they're legs. <laughs> <laughs> It's more like what what an object is used for is more important than what's meant to be. <laughs> yeah, it's a leg made out of arm bones. Okay, who's turn is it? Said. Anyway, yes. so again, Charles. whatever you do, do not attack that staff. Charles, my boy. Hey, it be your turn. All right, I be going for the legs. Okie dokie. I missed that the leg. That is not going to hit. <laughs> Wait, oh, advantage goes no. flank. Advantage goes flanking. They're still flanking oh, with, yeah. the, with this. With Sparky. Okay. Yes, yeah, they're flanking with Sparky. Let me roll again. Uh, Twenty for five. Yeah, does a 20 hit? Yeah, that hits. Sounds so okay. disappointed. <laughs> no, I'm just saying in general, yeah, that hits. Oh yeah, let's smack. All right, time for the bone chimera. Gonna attack you once again, Charles. Yep, that, okay. that critically misses. Oh, that's the a table roll. One. One things get to happen. And it is. All right, but I am taking the claw damage. Might be going oh, down this turn. Yeah. Nine. Are you down? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Um. It will use its bonus action instead of spawning a fiery skull to open its rib cage and encase Charles Blake in it. Bastard. As it cackles with laughter. Um, you still have to roll the one table. Yep, I do. I'm getting to it. Give me a second. <laughs> I just want its rib cage to break. Uh, 81 with the bone chimera. Uh, I keep forgetting. Is it higher or lower? I imagine higher is worse, usually on, on crit tables. Yeah, well, with me, the higher you get, the safer you are. Oh, good. Okay. I'm the exact opposite. That's why I always get confused. <laughs> I like going off script. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Interesting. Does it say Charles? <laughs> nope. Better. Uh, better. Mm. As the Bone Chimera tries to, like, in case Charles Blake into its chest, uh, you see it's one of its legs like reposition itself like in into like the bogginess of part of the swampish water. Tolkien, you're the only one close enough to yeah. actually hear this. Okay. You hear a <laughs> that did it sound like breaking bones? Is that the best sound I could hear? No, it sounded more like breaking of something fragile. You see it like readjust its leg and you see it's like hand come out. It's covered in some sort of whitish yellow, like viscous liquid that slowly drips off. I roll anything to know what it is. Sure, sure. Absolutely. Uh, give me a nature check. I, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh my no. God, 14. Uh, well, you know this to be a egg. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Wait, wait, is this bad for us? Like, no. Oh, well, oh. maybe. So he just uh, specifically okay. with your uh, your nature check, Falcon. Even though you only got a fourteen, you know this to be specifically a snake's egg. Uh -huh. oh. oh, and the only kind of snake. Someone got a snake's egg. Those are big snakes, probably. Fuck. Oh, Rita knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm assuming since we've been in the swamp and most of the things try to kill us in the swamp. And uh, judging from the fact that that skeleton is made of a very long spinal cord. Yeah. Uh, huh, 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 fuck. You, Tolkien, you abruptly hear a huge hissing sound. As soon as I start hearing that, I'm going to start pointing out the the abomination in front of me. And I'm going to start yelling, It was him! It was him! It's shitting me, no! You're shitting me! What? You're doing the You're shitting me right now. You you did not just do that. <laughs> okay, you know, it? 
Tolkien, what? give me a persuasion check. <laughs> it is very much true. Please let this happen again. 17. 17. I have to roll for this creature. Okay, please let it happen again, please. I gotta yeah. roll for this creature. I mean, the facts do speak by themselves. If Chimera was the one that did break it. It's probably and he does like have the on his leg. Yep. Okay, I gotta roll something else. Because he has proofs. Yeah, I have visible proof. Okay, so just so you know, the snake is so angry, I had to roll disadvantage for it. It got a natural one to oh, see no. whether or not it, like, actually, like, perceived what you said. Uh-oh. Now I gotta roll something else. Um, can you give them a reference of what snake they are seeing? I'll, I'll see it when it pops out. Absolutely. Fucking lootly. Once I get it on the fucking field. Yeah. I was afraid something like this would happen. We just lose. Oh, we just lost Sam. Sam? No. Nope. Sam! Um, no. Nope. He's still in this point. Oh, oh, yeah. He's not in roll 20, though. Oh, okay. Don't make me fucking panic like that. Jesus. Well, we did technically lose him. We just didn't lose him in Discord. <laughs> he might be refreshing. Yeah. Our shitty, Sam. Our shitty sweet ca- Sam. county internet, so. Yeah. We're finally getting fiber internet here. I'm so happy. A sweet son. Somewhat. Some. <laughs> oh, good lord. All right. Um, well, I'm on. Get on the. Get on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just gonna pull it over here so I can just pull it on the thing so I can do that. And yep. That. Yep. That's what it looks like. Waiting for it to load. Oh, Betty. Nice. Yeah. I'm very happy I yelled and pointed at it, saying that I was the one who killed it. Because, uh, yeah. I don't want to fucking tussle with that. Okay, so it will automatically make its attack. Tolkien and Silas, since it's making a diving attack, I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Right. with it, really. It's making a long lunge I'm, attack. I'm taking this hit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm no. Probably, if he oh, hits high no. enough, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not done. Oh, God, no. Please, please question another creature. Please question another creature. Please question another creature. Let me just roll damage for it. See how much it does. Okay. Please tell me something. Who I'm has fine. less than 13 hit points? Oh, I'm good. I do not. <laughs> okay. I'm good. It hit for exactly 13 on you guys as it hits the creature. And it basically <laughs> throws it into a tree. Uh, does this hurt Charles? Charles is inside the grip cage. Yeah. Uh, Charles will fail one death saving throw. Oh, I was afraid of that. I had to ask. Well, at least it's not true. That is true. The snake continues to just bite and gnaw at the creature as it is very angry that one of its young has can never see the light of day. Of course, it's nest is right next to the temple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what all that's what's awful is its eggs are everywhere. <laughs> so oh, it's probably also mad that it looks like a snake too. So yeah, yeah, it's not too happy. Uh, needless to say, it is in the current stage of blind rage. So anything within its range, it will blindly attack. Charles. Rita. Uh huh. Your turn. Okay. It, has that staff moved from its position? You see it currently floating, and you see it like tilt for a second, and it starts beelining it for the temple. <sighs> what? But I can't do it this round because I, unfortunately, it only has one and two function. It can either cast a spell. And or move or counter spell. No, it can either spell or move. That's it. That's all it's capable of currently in its current form. I thought counter spells. No, no, it's spell cast. Counter spell is a sort of spell cast. Oh, it can either cast a spell or move. It kind of just floats in place. And unfortunately, it already cast a spell. So. All right. I'm going to move right here. Yep. And I am going to cast sleep once more. Ha ha! Slightly more. Okay. I got to roll again. Uh, oh, what? Oh, no. I'm just saying how, like, the staff reacts. Should be out of its range for counterspell. I know. It can't counterspell it regardless, so. Uh-huh. 
I'm just seeing how it reacts. Oh. Like, it's nothing to take away from your spell. Okay. I'm just to see how it, it reacts. its host reacts to it being unconscious. Right. Uh, you see the necromancer all of a sudden, like, see you, and all of a sudden, eyes roll back in the head and all is over. <laughs> Necromancer's asleep. Pretty bad. I'll just say what shit. And you s- hear a loud crumbling noise behind you, Rita. Oh. Uh, Silas, you actually get to see this as the giant chimera collapses. <laughs> and the skeletons? No, the skeletons are actually still up. It's just you, Silas, you actually see that the this giant snake has torn this thing asunder. Oh. Yeah. Not that Doesn't the see- magic was dissipated. It was just torn fucking apart. Okay. Okay. Fair that enough. Too. Does the snake seem angry at us? I get a perception check or an insight check. <laughs> uh, equally bad, so, so I guess. Well, 11. Can anyone do this? That's truly up to them. Well, I'm unconscious, so I can't do shit. <laughs> uh, Rita? I'm in the roll. You're looking at the snake's face, and you instinctively know that clearly it wanted to attack the thing that attacked its egg. And it's currently looking at you and Silas to basically get away from his its territory. We need the crystal. <laughs> Charles. My turn, so that means death save? Yep. Oof. All right. Be like last time. Fucking game. I believe in you. Oof. Oh. Fail. Oof. At least it wasn't a natural one. At yes. least it was not a natural one. You Someone can have... drag me or, you know, stabilize, you please. Uh, okay, I have a, I have an idea. I think I might be able to do it on my turn. Where is it? So he's over here, right? By where the creature's at? Uh, well, uh, Charles, from what you are seeing, is currently ah. hanging by by his shirt coat uh from one of the bones that the chimera was made of mm-hmm. and the s- snake is uh, snake's mouth is right by it the snake is sort of resting its head next to the to the parts of the bone uh that has its egg on it okay it seems visibly upset awesome. so whose turn is it right now uh that's the bone chimera A.K.A. Uh, skeletons, A.K.A. the one. Yep, skeletons will charge forth, still being powered by the wand itself. You're calling it a wand. That's where they're going to end their turn. (laughs) Gotcha. They just went to the wand. Yep, they seem to be staring at the wand. As long as they don't break it. (laughs) Uh, So it's my turn. Yep. Is Kaisi of the force field of said temple is down? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my act, uh, my bonus action, and my movement to get up there. Okay. And I have- as you get closer, you notice that this necromancer being fully asleep as his eyes close, you know, the scroll still within his hand. What kind of scroll? It has words on it. Yes. What does the word say? It's a great question. Uh, do you know the Muffin Man? I'm kidding. I couldn't help I myself. I hate the Muffin Man. Don't even talk <laughs> about the Muffin Man. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, do you know, uh, do, I'm not even sure if you would know. Do you know Undercommon? <sighs> no, she only knows Common and Infernal. Okay. Well, it looks very crude language. Well, she's going to take it and pocket it. As soon as you reach for it, his hand shoots out and grabs you by the wrist. <laughs> his eyes shoot open with blackness in his eyes. So, uh, I see you've been taking good care of my disciple. Comment, please. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's going to say. I have no idea what you said. Common, please. He literally said it in common. I know, but she's not understanding. Then I will put it in a way you will understand. As he speaks then an infernal to you, which, judging from your species, I'm pretty sure you do fucking know. Well, yes. Like the insinuation. (laughs) (laughs) What can I say? I like assumptions. Anyway. uh, You took great care of my disciple. 
I'm using this voice, so that way it's not as guttural, you know. It's easier to understand, sorry. Ah, no worries. My disciple was sorely lacking in his motivations and correct way of using his magic. Though I appreciate you stopping him from doing any further damage. I may be a necromancer myself, but I do not want to harm the nature around me. <laughs> I imagine the snake <laughs> in the background. You just, uh, like, you just hear it's like a tail pounding in the background. <laughs> Silas, you just see the, uh, see the tail pounding all the bones to dust around it. Okay. Eventually, you just see, like, Charles Blake, like, being, like, jimmied towards you and then just flops on the floor. <laughs> Are we still in initiative order or not? Because I'm a little bit confused. No, not really. Okay. Okay. Doing, if, okay. I, I thought I was waiting for my turn to do stuff. Yeah. yeah. Same here. I'm gonna go over and just Oh yeah, yeah. If we're not in initiative, then yeah, I'm gonna. The as snake's as very pissed off. As yeah, it? I was going to say as long as you don't make the snake mad. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna very slowly approach and give him a healing potion. Uh, don't don't waste. I, as, it as sees I see you, you and it looks at you. It, it, when I mean, it's like I'm getting him. <laughs> Very slowly sliding over, and I'm gonna get a heating push. I, uh, I from from a distance, I was like, "Don't, don't!" As I just say, "Get up and cast healing word." Right. Okay. I need so to get the crystal. Ah, oh, damn we, it! We stop your so-called person. You think? Oh yes, I know, and I'm thankful for that. For you see, yeah. you did me a favor. You gave me a body. Right off. A uh, body. Um, yes. It is. Mm. A body. Bodies on bodies and bed. Look for the snake! He snaps his fingers and the staff goes f flying out and it attaches himself itself to him. To who? Uh, so to the necromancer. Oh. Good. That side was looking for an opportunity. Surprise! I look around and I notice the snake and I'm like, ah, that's bad. No. <laughs> I stab the corpse before they get it, it gets to the. Yeah, I was gonna put manacles on it. Yeah. So the staff attached itself to the necromancer. Yep. Who is currently yep. awake because of some otherworldly force. Oh, this. I'm sorry, but this is not flying in my book. As I get a produced flame and shoot it out to the necromancer. If the necromancer is not asleep, I'm attacking the necromancer. So, what size category is the staff? What size category? Yes, this is very important. What size object is it? Is it like a medium or la or, or a medium or small object? It's considered large. Why? It's considered the staff is a large object. Yes. Okay. As it tries to head over and attach itself to the body, I'm going to cast enlarge, enlarge on it so it can't fit in, fit through the door and get to the body. Okay. It gets a size category by one. That is a. That makes it so it can't, so it can't just get through the space, get to the body. So thank you, my dear. Your friends are very helpful. In trying the best to prevent me from getting a simple staff. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rita. Wait, what? She hasn't even told oh. this group her name yet. Her eyes widen and she's going to attack. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I cast explosion. Actually, that's. Uh, I have never used this before, but okay. I, I mm, don't know how to. Use what are you using? The cantro called booming blade. I think I need to do a melee attack before I attack with yes. weapons attack. Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. Okay, that's fifteen hit him. Yep. Okay, and then the booming blade. You also do a weapon damage. Yep. Uh, and then and that's bonus action dagger. I am not taking any chances. This thing. So 15 again. Another four. No, that's less than four. Sorry. As you just like lay into him after the produced flame hits him. Booming blade. It's more of a thunder. Well, it does okay, come from your coming. short sword. So regardless. Yeah. Yeah. The produced flame was mine. You that. see, as you strike forth with your short sword, you see his head fly off and just land a few feet away. Do I see that as well? Yes. I want to drop a flaming sphere right on the head. Does he still have a grip on my hand? It's growing tighter. He's still alive. 
then it releases as the body starts to slowly crumple. I think you hear a voice inside of the temple. So you've killed the necromancer and his would be demon. As you look into the shadows of this old temple, you see a form sort of appear out of the shadows. Rita, you would recognize this individual as the Wendigo who steered you clear of the quicksand earlier. Oh, it gives like a little wave. It floats over. Now the swamps can heal once more and be like they used to. I wish to give you something as a thanks. Creature floats back towards the temple into the darkness about five minutes later. Charles, you wake up. Yep. I was healed, I know. I was just waiting for y'all guys to get all that done, you know? Yep. I, wanna... uh, I just wanted to be clear, that, but you wake up th- that to be clear until I yeah. can, so I can I was... continue. <laughs> I'm just trying to I figure out how to... I was just trying to... My character is... A... I believe I'm back up because somebody healing worded me, so... Yeah. I could get the crystal You're later. To figure out what? So I kind of, I kind of sit up and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I, what You're, the fuck you're trying to figure out what? The fucking. What's going on? He's trying to figure out how to get the crystal. Oh, okay. I told him I'll yeah. get it later. Yeah. It's no problem uh, for me. The Wendigo floats past, uh, goes back to you, and you see its ghostly hands reach out and put something in yours, Rita. Okay, what's in my hand? Well, the Wendigo has just given you a little amulet with what seems to be a a journal with it. The amulet having a certain flavor symbol on it that you are very familiar with. I am pocking it immediately. Be sure no one sees it. If I need to do sleight of hand, I will. (laughs) Okay. The Wendigo flies past you, almost through you, Rita. Uh-huh. And looks at you, Sam, and you, I, Silas. I kind of bow my head a little bit towards it in respect. Silas just like, looks back at it. Yeah, Silas just looks back at it. You are a necromancer, are you not? Yeah, that's, that's relevant. Then allow me to give this to you as thanks. And he touches you on the shoulder. And I'm going to give you, after our session, a homebrew spell that I personally homebrewed. Wait. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to make let the snake get me. Let me get the crystal. <laughs> right. That's why I said, uh, don't worry. I can the get crystal, that. <laughs> for the crystal, uh, you basically the have to dig through the bones. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I just not try to piss off the giant snake. Yeah. Right. Uh, give me a give me a sleight of hand check, please. But, but maybe just wait until the snake leaves. I was going to well, say, if you wait, I can mage hand it. I can also mage hand it. But actually, um, no, you can't. You can't mage hand it. It's an anti magic ma- magic object. Oh, that dang. is buried under stuff, Ooh, so we don't know true. how heavy the bones are. Um, yeah. you said sleight of hand. I'm. <sighs> I get a bonus with this from Cloud Rune? I think I do. Yeah, I'm at advantage with uh, a sleight of hand with my Cloud Rune. I didn't think this would ever be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a 13. That's not good. It's not too bad. It's not, it's yeah. not well, a it's bad not, roll. I'm just not trying not to piss off the snake. I'm just be like... You're, you're oh, digging through it as best as you can, and you like get a little bit too eager as you think you saw something, and you bump one of the uh, like bones against the snake's body you look up cautiously sweating bullets Wait, you look hey. at this as you as you look at the snake the snake is looking directly at you i'm just gonna hope it remembers that i pointed out the thing that actually killed the, its baby and then you realize something this thing has exhausted itself and it's asleep oh thank god <laughs> <laughs> it's sleeping I'm still with going its about- eyes open oh my gosh <laughs> I'm still just going to go about this like, you know, gentle and slow. I'm not trying to wake off the pissed off snake. Right. So I'm just going to slowly dig around. <laughs> and I'm going to tell me. Yeah. Eventually you do uncover the gem, but it's a darker hue than when it was activated. Uh, I'm going to grab my backpack. And I am going to not touch the gem, but I'm going to like open my backpack as wide as I can and try to like shimmy. Give me a side the- of hand. <laughs> okay, well, it's that advantage again. 18. Jesus Christ, my advantage is not helping. 
Those 18 is pretty good. Fuck you. Fuck you, 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 it's bad for me because I was excited. <laughs> yes. It's good for us. So, yes. so yeah, I'm going to shimmy it into my backpack. I'm going oh, to say it. this. You needed an 18 for you to get it safely in the bag. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, fuck you, dude. Yeah. Charles over here is just going to get up and leave because I don't want to piss off a snake either. Yeah, so I'm going to shimmy it in the backpack and then I'm going to close the backpack. You're not going to walk off. You're just going to limp off because you are in pain, my dude. I mean, I am super fucked up, but it looks like a ju- it looks like a drunken, uh, like a it's drunken like, meander. You're, you're having to like Charles is helping you while you're helping Charles walk yeah. away from this because you are both just you. Oh, my God. You are both not having a good day right now. Yep. But yeah. still alive. That's still That's alive. Mean. And then we're going to meander over to the, the the rest of the group. Wait, is the stone still hot? Is that what it is? It's in the box. I don't know. We don't know. Oh, it's not in the box. We, <laughs> we don't it's, know. It's in the bag. It's staying in the bag. Gotcha. Good looking so, rations or anything out of that bag. That's what I was going to say. It's hey, like, here's the problem. Someone's going to have to share rations with me. Sparky can carry it. No, I'm, I am holding on yeah, to yeah, the yeah. bag. It, we are not giving an, okay, we are not handing an anti-magic object to a magical creature. That is just asking for something to go wrong. Magical uh, creature. So, I do not want the, spirit. the object. Uh, so I, I walk up and I see the, the one to go and I'm like, uh, so Silas, my, uh, my friend, uh, the, 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 the job's done. It's in the bag. Not, the not, like, not like a saying, but like actually in the bag. Job. The, the Wendigo looks at you and it outstretch its palm. And you see nature grow around your feet and flowers and dandelions as you feel a healing presence just all around you for five. Five? Yeah. So there's one more. Charles would be there. Had, move I just had to make sure that no, Rita yeah. was actually in the space. Oh, I'm not in the space. No, no, she was. I just okay. had to make sure with measuring tools. Ooh, does this cure diseases? <laughs> Good question. I cannot do that. Being I still have lock <laughs> I have two. I, tomorrow so I can cure it. Charles goes, I can change it tomorrow. I can, I can do it tomorrow. Please, I'm uh, dizzy. I'm still hungry. Please rest in the temple for the night. I will keep watch. It's wonderful. So it's going to walk in. After all, my older brother is not as nice as I am. Yeah. Just going to walk on in. Okay. That scroll, did I grab and pocket it? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> okay. I'll get the information from you later. Yep. And this guy's dead. So I'm going to put what? a little X mark over his thing. Was there uh, anything left over? Ugh. I know his body crumbled, but anything well, else? Everything? He has his robes and his items. Oh, yes, I, want check, I want to check the, the necromorph's body for a mundane necklace. <laughs> mundane necklace? Uh, yeah. Do you not remember? Do you not remember? I remember. Yeah, yeah okay. In the boat, you remember on the boat? Yep. Silas made a promise that he would like throw throw throw, throw a, ne- a, ne- a necklace, that, a mundane necklace that the necromancer is wearing into the ocean. Like he doesn't know that it was a test, Oops. and he's he, he yep. doesn't know it was a full. Well, oh, I do remember. I'm just surprised you did. Anyway, uh, you do find it. It's very mundane, and inside, um, you can see that he this necromancer really needed to die. Uh, he has a, it's like a locket kind of necklace, and in it, it has a picture of a a, a very 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 young girl with the words you will be mine carved into the silver <laughs> like silas like picks up like nope that's not it goes over the shoulder I, I god i hope that please be another necklace on here please be another necklace on here there is there's just a plain little silver necklace <laughs> okay i take that oh, th- like, <laughs> oh, th- oh thank god i was gonna Dibs. say just Dibs. chunk wolf of them yeah silas is oh. gonna take that just gonna take that in amulet in his hands and just burn it because it's just <laughs> It's just knowledge that just does not need to be known. <laughs> oh, I should yeah, probably iterate. He told his, his uh, real name was Minilad. I'm kidding. 
Oh, <laughs> uncalled for. <laughs> Is there anything else of note in his body, or was that it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually. Um, looks like he was carrying around a coin purse, uh, a wand beside the um, actual staff. Uh, mm -hmm. There also appears to be a component pouch. Oh, um, does he have a spell book? Mm, yes, yes, he does have a spell book on him. Yoink. Can, can yeah. I Yoink. get that pouch? <laughs> Yeah, the second side of C sees the Miss Smoke, he's taking that immediately. <laughs> yeah. I, I hand you over the wand, so it's like, can you... I know you're pretty good at uh, at the yes, I can, I just, yes. magic. Let me have a look at it. Sly's going to cast identifying the wand. If I can have that I, pouch, I will love that. <laughs> the wand you identify as a wooden wand. It has no magical effects on it. Yeah. Gotcha. Just uh, by casting focus. It's just a basic, yeah. basic uh, spell casting focus. Um, can I go into I this like that back? into the storage room real quick and see like what I yep. can scrounge? Uh, you see that well, despite this being an old storage room, you see that it has mostly where the necromancer like kept all of his stuff while he was here. So you see uh, an entire barrel of just road rations in it. Oh, yes. I'm gonna pop my head out the door and go, Silas, we got food. Yes. Oh, finally. And, uh, and you see uh, on one of the shelves, there appears to be a, a pouch of some kind. Uh, I tried to grab it, but I don't know if I am tall enough. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's on one of the lower shelves. Okay, then I grab it. Yeah. So I just Question. Like, what was a call out? Yeah. Damn. Oh, you go. But does this necromancer look like it has any signs of taking booze? Huh? The alcohol in the, in the building. Yeah. Because Cruz, uh, our oh. mission was supposed to be looking for a thief. Booze. Holy shit, that was the weirdest fucking thing. Uh, in his room, you see entire crates of stolen alcohol. Yep, I stick oh. my head out. We found the booze. Oh, fantastic. Also, while you two are searching around, if you find any like notes, papers, anything like that, could you could you maybe bring them to me? Uh, I have no idea. My one might want to check the desks that are in front of Sam. Yeah. Charles, yeah. we like, found the booze. Our insane. mission's complete. All right. As you just see him like lay <laughs> slump on, on the ground. Oh, you're ju just you're just like sitting at the entrance, just taking a breath. Well, how much did we heal from the? I'm against the wall. Yeah. Like, how much uh, did we heal? Yeah, because you didn't tell us how much to heal. In the circle. Uh, sorry for forgetting that. I got excited. Yeah. Uh, you heal 15 points. Okay, so I'm up to full. Oh, so far, I have it this no, I'm not. <laughs> Back to Max. <laughs> Fuck all of you. I have the most HP here. 20 at least, but... So am I. Um, yeah, but I have two diseases right now. Early. So hush. Right. Yeah. How much was in the coin purse, by the way, of the Necromancer? Uh, well, uh, as you open it up, clearly he was paid to do this. Oh. As mm -hmm. you see, 100 platinum pieces. What? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So. Uh, we did spend a barrel of like 10,000 gold before. Yeah, yeah. But I turned well, to the group. That was a like, trick ship. We, we need to find whoever paid him to do this. Well, at least I say we investigate a little bit further. Because if oh, there's something yeah. out there creating why do you think I'm, well, Yes, why do you think I'm asking you to, to find any paper? To All any right, paper let to me find? go back in the room. Uh, uh, so I'm going to check this desk, see what's on here. Uh, all of you investigation rolls. <laughs> 22. What dirty nice. laundry does he hide? Hey. Oh, 12. Damn. I don't have advantage on this. Ooh. Tell me. Okay. Uh, so since I left off with Tolkien, I'll be fair. What did you roll? <laughs> 12. Ooh. Um, oh, you said I found a pouch on his shelf. Yep. Pouch on the shelf. And also uh, you find that the necromancer. Well, um, he apparently um, also uh, managed to piss or he he might have pissed off your clan as well because you see a um a, a pouch uh made made with a golden emblem of the iron fist clan on it uh indicating okay. that this was a person of higher standing so what's what's in the pouch uh looks to be a a, a um looks to be a family ring and what appears to be as um, gold rings that go on your beard. Oh, yes. I was too poor originally to do this. Now I can. Hey, share. <laughs> I flip you off. Family shit. 
Do I need to reach all something? Oh, let, let, let the dwarf has his, have his trinkets. And then we get. I like this and bubbles and red beer too. Oh, and congrats on Tolkien, by the way. Uh, why? Because Tolkien? you because you found the pouch. All right. Ha ah, ah, ha. Yes. Um. Uh, congratulations. You now have the singular parties of a type of you know pouch that has a dimensional thing oh, to it. You know what I'm talking about? Found a bag of holding. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. You found the oh. bag. <laughs> The best bag. Nice. What it still has my name, fam my family either. name, uh, the ring, the my family ring, and oh. the uh, the beard, uh, yep. you know, the beard beads. Yep. Nice. So you are uh, now the is, holder of the bag. Yep. Uh, how much is the? Because beard rings actually have a cost, but most of the time it's based off a, a ring. How much does the beard rings cost? Um, could I get a history check with advantage? Thanks. Fuck. Well, I rolled <laughs> shit. I blame being wounded. What'd you roll? A six. <laughs> With advantage? Yes, yeah. I rolled a two and a six. No, you you rolled a one and a five. Yeah, yeah. a one and a five oh. plus one. Oh. Yeah, I rolled really bad. Oh. Trust me, oh. if I had a point, if I had inspiration, I'd be using the inspiration to roll this because this is character development. Right. Um, but I don't, so I'm taking the six. Wait, hold on. Um, yeah, I, I got nothing actually, to do. Actually, to be fair, to be fair. We fire all. If anybody knows um, where it's from, I'd be surprised. It does come from your family lineage, so I'll allow you one reroll. Let's see if that does any better. I just need to do better than a five. I did a lot better than a five. <laughs> What'd you get? I a 20 see. altogether. Okay. Okay, that's a whole hell of a lot better. Yes. Um, you know that this is typically worn only by the chieftain. Uh, each ring is roughly about well, usually rings for anyone else is only about maybe 20 gold, but these are at least 500 each. Yep, these are definitely going in the beard. And how many did I get all together? That way I know. Five. Five. Okay, Ooh. cool. Uh, so I unbraid my beard and I start rebraiding my beard. I don't care about <laughs> anything else that's going on. I start re, re uh, braiding my beard so that way the beard so They're normal rings. They don't have any magical properties. No, I don't care. Maybe <laughs> that's maybe styling. It's a, all the way here. This is this right here is status symbol. This is so yeah, right. We, we this is me it. walking into a room and other dwarves being like, "Don't fuck with that dude. He's up yeah. there." Yeah. We we better tie Tacklin down because he's about to be fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, Sam, did you make an investigation roll? Yes, twenty. Twenty. Okay. Uh, what were you searching for? Uh, like a to just general notes, uh, and like within the center center area, like any oh, notes, any okay. like paperwork, any. Yeah, like, was it a modified twenty bit. or was it a um Na modified natural 20. natural nineteen plus one? The, yeah, natural. Yeah. Oh, oh, that yeah, one. It wasn't a natural twenty. It was a nineteen That's plus one. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. A natural 20, yeah, yeah. Uh. Well, it still critted, so it counts. Um. So. You are searching around, uh, just to be clear, investigation, Silas. Okay, you're both searching around, and um, Silas, you are seeing like a lot of old papers, like pertaining to like the lizard folks' um, religious rites and how they prepared their dead uh, and how they honor said dead. Um, they typically, whenever they bury their dead, they typically uh, wrap them up, sort of mummify them, and l lay them to rest in the uh, swamps below so that the snake can eat them, thus becoming part of nature. Okay. Um, and, Worship snakes. Yep. Uh, and on top of it, you see that they uh, also seem to worship a large ancient green dragon that is in the area. Hey, that's hey, worrying. Man. You know, he's pretty chill. Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. Back right. up for a second. You can go tell him so, we can get a reward. Hold, hold on, hold on. I need to quickly address a certain aspect you just mentioned. So you just said they bury them deep underground to feed them to the snakes. No, no, deep into the swamps. Okay, I thought these snakes had, like, burrowed underground, and that is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the they desert. probably do. They they do, but that's only during winter times. This is summer months, <laughs> which sucks. 
happy to never come to the swamp in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they I'm usually uh, these type of snakes. From what you are reading in these notes, they typically like like make a trap f in the winter times to where like they have like this thin veil of like earth above their mouths which are open and as soon as someone walks over it just they just fall into the snake's mouth and they get a free meal the silence is deafening <laughs> well i'm waiting for yeah, my I'm roll so I'm the, the thought it's of it's burying it's snakes is pretty terrifying but yeah and i'm still i'm still more focused things. on all the stuff yeah. i got Sam, uh, you you actually, as you're searching around, you're kind of looking at every nook and cranny, and like you like see the pedestal and the and the altar, and you like you like touch it sort of, and then all of a sudden you hear nothing. We hear nothing. nothing. No, no. Uh, you hear a faint clicking sound. Oh, trapdoor! I did not oh, yeah. get your whisper. Yeah. I did not get your whisper. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Sam is gonna go and try to investigate what what that clicking sound is. Uh oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'll get to you in a moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, as you uh, like hear the click sound, you go and investigate it, and you uh, see that the uh, symbol in the center of the room, right here. Mm -hmm. See me clicking? Yep. Uh, you see it abruptly go. And you see it turn and start like coming up from the ground and you see it twisting and turning and you see a secret room with a desk and papers stacked on it. Uh, I let everyone know, right, that like if they didn't notice it, uh, <laughs> but I, I go down into the secret room. <laughs> I'm still in the bedroom, so I don't right. know. I will get back to you guys. I will get back to you guys. One moment. Uh, Rita, what did you roll for investigation? 22. Tell me 22? his laundry. <laughs> uh, well, uh, as you enter into his room, uh, he has underwear with yep. a brown streak on it uh, hanging from the rafters. Not that kind of laundry, but okay. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I couldn't help it when you said laundry. Anyway. Uh, you see that uh, he uh, he has uh, you're looking all around and he has this cloth that's underneath the bed that you pick up and you instantly just let go of because there's a symbol on it, a symbol of something that you're very familiar with of a certain flag from the pirate ship that we just saw. Is not a pirate ship or is it, was it different? Slaver ship. Yeah. It was a slaver ship. Where? Uh, pirate. Sorry. Not sorry. Slaver. slaver ship. Yep. It was a slaver ship. Uh, so to be clear, it is the sign of the patrons of hope. Okay. I'm going to fold that up. Stick it in my back. Uh, you also see that he has a personal diary and it has all these names in it crossed out with ages included. With ages? I'm afraid. I'm afraid to ask what the ages. <laughs> They're all under 10. Okay. Not all female names. One of the names oh. is circled and says missing Rita. What? Wait, what, what the heck? Uh, you go further into the, um, the journal itself and you read, I have been, uh, it reads, I have been hired by higher powers uh, and also by other people with other people to search for the missing child. We have been paid a handsome sum to hunt down this young lady at all costs. We must have our business transaction completed. Never missing? What? This is confusing. Yes, yes it is. She's going to see if there's any more information on this. Besides, what else is in the room? Yes. Oh my Charles god. Is gonna it seems... The powers that be seem a little confused from what you're reading because they believe you escaped. Years. Some of them think you were kidnapped by other kidnappers. Some think you're dead. They seem very confused. Did they say what age they was looking for me at? Or It's roughly when you got out of there. Never. Of where? Which one? When I got caught or? You know, when, when you got no, no, when you got out of being caught. Oh, that wasn't too long ago then. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Okay. 
Exactly my point. She's nope. uh, anything else about this necromancer besides the weird fetish and apparently me. Um like when seems, he got possessed. <laughs> it seems uh he came across an ancient powerful staff when he entered into the island of Flint and um he starts rambling on of how the master gets what he wants. The master will be released. I will do all these things for the master. Like his speech pattern completely changes. So about a week or two ago. Yep. Yep. Okay. About a week ago. They say where he found said staff. Uh, he said that the staff itself was. He said he found it in embedded in the skull of an old serpent. Okay. Okay. You good? Yep. <clears throat> Okay, Necro, Silas, Sam. Hi. Mm -hmm. So, Silas, my friend, you are seeing papers upon papers of theoretical necromantic theory. Like, is it possible to do this with necromancy? Is it possible to do that with necromancy? <clears throat> oh, I, need to, I need to roll something. Roll something? What? I'm going to say, uh, yeah, just going to... just. just yeah, no, he cannot hide his excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited! Your girl yes, is I just looks at it, like, eyes wide and just, like, <laughs> immediately starts re reading through it. <laughs> um, so, you see that he was, despite him not, like, like, being, like, the most powerful necromancer, he had interesting ideas. Like, is it possible to summon summon things that are not undead but still bound to your will? He was questioning the theory of possibly summoning a well. To put it nicely, he wanted he wanted to say uh, uh, see if he could summon and bind a dead version of a Balor demon, like a Balor soul. Oh, yep, that's all. Ooh, so this is like. Intensely reading this. Oh yes, it, it's really interesting stuff. Like he he was clearly like thinking like eons ahead of his time, trying to find out different ways of necromancers, trying oh. to find like how to surpass their own yeah. limits. Uh, he, you actually see that he wanted to research a, a extinct people to the far, far north. Uh, apparently, they were so advanced in necromancy that they could fully control and bind a... Uh, one necromancer could fully control and bind two beholder souls by himself. Yeah, so I was just going to be sitting, sitting, just sitting down here, like, reading through it. Got, yeah, like, Sam, I, Sam, see, like, it's like, yep, I see you're like a kid excited to be in the candy shop so yeah. i'm assuming this is your area of expertise i know the wendigo mentioned it as well now i don't want to be rude you can please leave me alone, leave me alone for a good, good few hours <laughs> <laughs> sure man as i i kind of i kind of like pick up one of the notes and like sam kind of reads at it it's like and just murmurs to himself like i don't understand like a quarter of this and puts it back down and then just looks around the room for anything else. Hopefully it's all in you. your language you can understand. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he like try actually let me roll for it. He tries to make yeah, it actually yeah, naturally that's a good point. So mean colors uh, as soon as you can. Uh to be fair, um all of it is the in the infernal language. Oh perfect. <laughs> oh so yeah okay, got it. Yeah, Sam is trying to make it seem like he understands a little bit, trying to make himself <laughs> seem like a bit smarter than what he is. So, Roll inside. I got you. <laughs> you just hear Charles go, be careful with that type of magic. I'm drinking some rum. Yeah, yeah no, Silas isn't even paying attention to what, to what you're doing. He's too focused. Uh, Charles, magic. you're you're yeah. sitting there taking a breather, and abruptly yeah, you just see a... Well, you see it like a uh, like an old like part of tree bark like like come to your vision with a with a little like clay cup and you see the windigo like floating there you look exhausted here have some I, tea <laughs> i will also be preparing some dinner as i as i, as I pull out some rum and i'm like i was about ready to drink this but <laughs> They have one water skin of rum. <laughs> yeah, um, Sam, to be fair, yes. 
Uh, you you find um, little to anything else for the necromancer mm -hmm. about the necromancer, but you do find why this temple was abandoned in some of the notes. Okay. Apparently, a very large Wendigo came through and had a rampage, started killing people. Gotcha. So then they abandoned it because of that. Yep. Now it looks like the other one that go took up residence here, so or part residence. But yeah, Sam will kind of like he's kind of like looking at the notes as well, right? Like the ones that Silas is like putting down, and he kind of like mummers and says like, "You have to study for magic. Like magic is so easy; it just comes to me. Like this is like a completely new world to to Sam." Are you saying that out loud? <laughs> Yeah, I'm like murmuring it out loud as I like looking at the notes. Oh, for me, you, I. Yes, yeah, so I just looks and goes. Well, unlike you, I do not gain my power from power from any other outer force. Agree. Uh, I mean, I mean, you gotta admit it's a cute outer force. So as I kind of like uh, pet a uh, Sparky that's now like floating above my shoulder. Yes, it's adorable. Now. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Wait, I'll, I'll get. I'll let you get back to your studying as uh, I I go back Thank up. Very much. I pray to gods. Uh, also, uh, Silas is actually going to pull out his pouch and hand him the, tw the 20 platinum he got given. You can give that to everyone else. I've got more than enough of a reward. Okay. Uh, Dwarf, what's your name again? Auckland. Auckland? Auckland. Uh, yep. Okay, Tom. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing this. As long, you don't say, <laughs> as long as you don't say it as a derogatory term and you don't make no. me offend, if you don't offend me, you're good. Is she, Otherwise, if you don't impress her, she's not going to remember much of you. Uh, it's fine. You have a bag or something. I can't carry all. I and what do you have? Like, what am I looking at in your hands? Um, not in her hands. She opens up the door to show all the rum. We got delivered ah, the rum. Yes, uh, good not for drinking. I, uh, yes, not for drinking. We have to return this. Ah, and that was what we not such a good last, but so good last. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at her. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna look at the like the two rings that I have left for my beard. I'm gonna be like uh. Give me a little bit more uh, time because like my beard's still not like finished, like it's completely fine. finished. I got so. book to read in the hell. I wave her off and I just go back to braiding and yeah. putting the beads in. No. I go uh, status to symbol, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Sam, Sam goes around handing out the the extra five platinum that Sidelist didn't want. Ooh. Uh, speaking of handing out, uh, we're going to take a fifteen minute break. All right, everybody, use the bathroom if you need it. Switching over. Yeah. I'll make sure everybody's here first, obviously. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Benara. This yeah. is so confusing with all the information I've been getting. I dislike you bloody for it. Makes perfect sense to me. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you want me to spell it out for you? Uh, no. No, it. No, don't. Because I can ruin the story for you. Yeah, no, don't. <laughs> anyway. Charles just be doing his own thing. Don't mind him. Yep. Okay, so who are we going to start with? Who are you going to call? Docklin. What's up? Uh, you have finally managed to put all the rings on your beard. Yes. And you are a very happy dwarf right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm dipping into the flash of distortion, my wine flask of distortion. <laughs> I'm in a very good mood. Hi, share. <laughs> I pour you're a little bit out. Same room. You're not in the same room. Too bad. If he was, I'd give you some, but you're not. <laughs> I can smell it as soon as he opens it. <laughs> Probably. That would require an insanely high... Roll of perception, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Based on smell. I got this. <laughs> he gets in that 20, he'll smell it. I'll give him that much. <laughs> I mean, he is a pirate, so... With advantage. Oh, He's not a bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm just making a joke. It's like, I'm a pirate. It's like, who opened the rum? Roll it. Roll it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Jesus Christ, this moonshine is good. Oh, son, Jesus Christ comes up to you. You're welcome. Dude, no, this stuff is good. It's freaking blackberry. Oh, it's so good. Not an at 20, but 24. <laughs> yeah, it's not at 20. Sorry. That's up to the DM. Uh, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Uh, uh, when you start drinking it, about uh, maybe two minutes later, Charlie, uh, Charles, you do smell it as it wafts over. <laughs> Charles just whoosh, pull over in the rum. <laughs> I look at him funny and I keep sipping from the flask. If you have Aye, a sir. cup off your some. I <laughs> get a cup, my guy. There's probably plenty Sorry. in that room. Probably, but he has to get it. I'm sitting on the floor right now. <laughs> it with the rings well, in my beard, yeah. sipping alcohol. I'm a very happy dwarf right now. 
And Charles is willing to celebrate with you. <laughs> exactly how I see it. <laughs> so, so I'm sitting down with you. Yep. I'll be sharing the booze. Oh, Basically, can Charles I get a perception check from you? Who, me? What? Yes. Yes, I said you. Okay. Yeah, 10 on the second one. Why did you roll a perception? I said investigation. Oh, sorry. Again. Once so more. He's a perception again. All right. Here's my Hold minus one roll. Okay. That's 15. All the others. Not bad. Yeah, that's actually not Especially bad. Let me see. <laughs> um, Ch- Charles, as you're taking a sip of this delectable fucking booze, you notice something out of the corner of your eye as um, you look onto one of the shelves. The top of the shelf on here, there seems to be a cloth covering something very large. Uncover and see what it is. It's an egg. Egg of what? Mm, looks like a snake's egg. Oh, no. Charles just grabs it. I bring it outside and I just... <laughs> nope. <laughs> you, you gently put that? You throw it? No. I take it outside. I put it on the ground and I just leave. A whole lot of nope. Exactly. How far do you go? This matters. Uh, this matters. Yeah, it's <laughs> not near where that snake was. I would not walk up to a snake that just saw his kid get be killed with an egg in your hand. Yeah, but I'm giving it back the egg. There's a difference. Yeah, but you're going uh, up to it. But would the wild animal know that? Uh, give me an animal handling check. Oh, no. I was afraid. With disadvantage, because this is a snake who just lost one of his young. And I'm going to roll for the snake as well. You should have just stuck in a bush and went, okay. Ten. Uh, okay. My intentions may at least get through. It's like, I don't want nothing to do with this egg. No, you can have it. Charles, as you carry this egg out, you notice that the snake is staring dead long at you. Well, and you're... Scared. I gently put an egg on the ground, and I just go, that's yours. Yeah, <laughs> but he on. also knew you was with the skeleton, so... You said that is yours, so you yep. wake it up. Remember, it sleeps with its eyes open. Thin, oh. it's, you see it's a thin layer of, like, a viscous skin-like thing just go over its eyes, and you see it, like, eyes adjust. I'm backing away slowly from the egg. You hear a loud hissing sound. As you see its jaws open. Yep. Yep. Backing up. Taking my time. I'm doing it slowly. I'm not making any sudden reactions. You see it like slowly grab its egg and you see it kind of like raise its head. Can I get a nature check, please? I'm sure all of us are like sticking our heads out watching this. As some of you. Silas probably has no interest. I, I have no interest in this either. I'm drinking booze. Really? Yeah. yeah. I really, yes, I I'm really celebrating. Well, I got a two, but I'm just slowly backing away. Uh, <laughs> two. Okay. As the snake sort of backs its head up, you see it like open its mouth. You see something bubbling inside. Yeah. And I get a dexterity saving throw. Troll is dead. Girl's pissed off the sleeping snake. I mean, Rita would blankly say that. So she saw oh. it. Okay. Uh, you actually managed to dodge out of the way as a vault of like acid just hits the ground and melts the area like in front of your feet and you bolt. <laughs> I was returning it. As you like uh, grace the doors of like the old temple you like look back as you get into the safe haven the snake is not following you but it's looking you you very intently then it turns back to its egg and you see it like wrap itself around the little uh, well comparative to it a really small egg and puts its head on top of it as sort of a warming motion i kind of do a sigh of relief and i go all right mama you stay there I leave you alone. Charles. <laughs> uh, can idiot. I get an insight check, Charles? Insight? I'm a little bit better at that. <laughs> Are you? Are you? Are you? Wow, game. <laughs> <laughs> you almost died uh, again. You're not cluing in on anything. <laughs> you have no idea. You're like, I was just trying to help, damn it. 
Exactly. But my character is like, okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, you leave me be, I leave you be, I gave you egg. Okay. To drinking booze. <laughs> yep. And uh, back Sil- to our Silas, good news and bad news. What? Do you want the good news but or the bad news first? Uh, Fine. Good news first. Oh, damn it. The good news is... Is that these theories it's are like going theory. to like skyrocket necromancy? F- like it's going to like skyrocket the research of necromancy by about ten years. Okay. For the bad the, news. Yep. The bad news is most of these ingredients that are required by these certain like things that you need to do certain uh, like most of these you would you would need components and not an arcane focus and yeah. some of them are very rare items okay like literally one says uh one says literally the eye of an ancient golden dragon jesus christ that's we're gonna need to kill an ancient dragon to get that <laughs> some of them are like a lot more common like i have newt i have newt <laughs> yep i was just about to say i have newt <laughs> uh, I have new to pinch of salt, pinch of dirt, <laughs> a frog leg. No, more like uh, chicken's blood, owl feathers, um, bat wings, dead parrot, testicles of a bull. <laughs> At this point, we're just fucking memeing with all the things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of them just just says the entire body of someone named Jared from Subway. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Get it right. His, his name is Craig, and he runs a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, ironically, one. they both wore glasses. Anyway, um, uh, that's taken care of. Back to drinking. <laughs> yep, you enjoy some heavy drinking, and uh, you do, however, find in the middle of the notes, Necro. Yeah. You do find something that seems to be unique to these notes, which is not necromantic at all. It actually seems some more well for. The layman's term, and it's more clerical than anything. Uh, okay. Who cares? <laughs> Fuck these notes. <laughs> Instantly burns them. <laughs> Heresy! It's been, it's been tainted! Well, you do realize that, you know, clerics also use necromancy too, right? Yeah, there's a whole there's a whole cleric path for it. Lies. No, there is. It's, it's there is. No, I'm not great. saying lies for me. Oh. I know it exists. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Anyway. Um, uh... Can I get an Arcana check from you, Necro, please? Okay. Just give me a second. <laughs> Oof. 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 Nine. Uh, you are you are getting vibes in this room. Um, somewhere in this room, you are getting the vibes that something in here doesn't seem right magically. Like something okay. is starting to happen, and you can't quite put your finger on it, mm-hmm. but it okay. feels off. Hmm. Okay. Are you done so I can look at the research? Mm, for now. Mind looking at this? She holds up the strange scroll that she can't seem to read. Let's look at it. You know, under common. No. Then this, you do not understand what this language is like you have the same reaction she does. Oh, sorry. Don't quite understand this one. Dang. All right. Anything good in there? That's what you're interested in, really. Depends. What's the magic? Necromantic. Yeah, unless it's poison someone. That's it. What? Never mind. They didn't actually hear what you said. Oh, she said, unless it's poison someone. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, no. Well, actually, some of the notes do have like ways to like poison people into turning in them into zombies. Hmm. Oh yeah, your hands are those notes that yeah. Well, this is interesting. Most creepy. of it is theoretical. Very creepy. <laughs> Apparently one of the ways to turn someone into zombies. Uh the guy wrote down something that seems weird to you. Apparently he wanted to use some kind of mushroom. Okay. Do we know what type of mushroom? Nope, it just says a mushroom. Trying to make a reference here. <laughs> I'm not getting it. The Last of Us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, the zombies are actually fungal. Uh, yep. Well, add a character. There is a creature like that. Yep. It's a parasite like mushroom. Takes over a host body and then kills it. <sighs> All right. No. Most of this stuff I don't really care about. Necromancer is okay. It's 
Oh. Uh, you do read that one of the best ways to poison someone is by giving them a lot of booze. No. <laughs> That's all literally alcohol. Is. It's, a, it's a legal it's a poison. poison. It's literally it, classified it, as a yeah, poison. It, it is, yeah. Yep. It's a legal poison. Poison. That's why dwarves can drink so much. <laughs> yep. No, it's a, that's exactly why, because it's it's a poison resistance roll. <laughs> yeah. And then it became a con roll because everybody else drank it. And it's like, oh, poison doesn't really make sense in the end. Uh, well, well I there's know, more to see over in the morning. <laughs> well, I know from the necromancer, he came looking for someone and then got possessed by a wand and a snake skull. A staff. You a mean. Staff. She's going to call it a wand. <laughs> Well, a wand is one-handed. A staff is something longer. I could also be one-handed. Uh, uh, but either way, you got possessed, and it's mumble jumble talk. She kind of mm. rubs the, her wrist where she got grabbed. Creepy. It's bruised. Uh -huh. <laughs> By this time, um, it's been about maybe an hour since you guys started relaxing. By this time, Charles, you are shit-faced drunk. Hi. You're slurring your words a little bit. I mean, I'm trying to keep up with the dwarf. Dolphin <laughs> is fine. He's just looking at you with amusement. <laughs> um, Silas, you have gone through all of the notes by now, okay. and you distinctly feel that the magical whatever it was is getting stronger. Uh, ah. Oh, that's no good. What? Hmm. Oh, Rita, you're starting to feel it, too. What? Do I do I know what it is? Great question. Give me an Arcana check. I can't take magic. <laughs> okay, Arcana. Uh, Ooh, okay, 20. so... And you can learn its school of magic, if any. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, 30 for feet. your 20. Um, so, Silas, you know this... Um, particular type of magic to be to be very in the sense of um oh, what is it called i'm blanking uh, let's just call it destruction magic evocation yep okay i'm not normally a mm. spellcaster so and it's building yep shit um, what direction a direction yeah um what direction it's centered inside of the room that silas is in uh where exactly you got to be kidding me uh, where the center of the star was. Jack, you're just Jack. right in the center of it. Hey, Jack. I get the booze. Get your stuff. We're out. Uh, yeah, as long as it's just like grabbing any notes he hasn't like meticulously okay. down yet. So I I grab the food huh. from the you hear, uh, the larder, throw it in, and then I rush to grab the booze, throw it in, and I get ready to run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. No, we all run away from the snake. The away from the snake. Charles might want to move too. All right, we get going. <laughs> You're half drunk. I'm dragging your ass along. I see her, like the Wendigo watches you leave, slowly yeah. follows you, <laughs> curious <laughs> on what's going on, and then all of a sudden, as you reach the like the 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 uh, the uh, park. tree line, there we go. Uh, all of a sudden, oh, we managed to get a shot. Temple left, goes up in flames and explodes. Does a scare said snake? Nope. But the snake is pelted by the exploding temple. Keep running. We're heading oh. back. Let's go. Why does everywhere well, we sleep Why, why is it that go. everywhere we sleep ends up exploding? I was I, I look back, the I go, same thing. I look back, I look at him and I go, why does everything you touch explodes? <laughs> Literally, this campaign was sponsored by Michael Bay. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's oh, true. Anything Silas touches explodes. I'm not wrong. Michael I swear. Bird. Like, I swear, like it, correlation does not mean causation. Yeah, but it's been a hundred percent chance lately, so pretty big correlation. <laughs> All right. Uh, but the odds so that you've you, been giving us. So you head <laughs> into the woods. Okay, let's put this way. Nothing. Ex not, none of my bedrooms exploded before I met you. But you people. By hey, the way, hey. we need a rest in, so keep that in mind. So if you do have missing health, you can roll for your HP. No. Oh, because we got a short rest. So you already got healed. Yeah, we it had was short an hour. Rest. It was an hour. We had yeah. short so, rest. Yeah. We was healed yeah, up. We, yeah. Except for we don't so have. Do we're the the uh, for flavor mm -hmm. text, I need you guys. Uh, Rita. Uh, uh, talk, Ye. Charles, uh, uh, actually, everybody. 
I need everybody to give me a give me a general uh sleight of hand check. Okay. Twenty one. That twenty. Not oh. twenty. Fuck yeah. Man, that was a sucky three. Oof. Um uh Talkin. You uh, see Silas is trying to gather up all these research papers and you just like grab him, grab all the papers and then just run out the door with with a entire crate of booze underneath your hand. <laughs> just, I'm going to make it look like I've done this before, which I, which I probably have honestly in the past. Uh, you actually grab a decent amount of um items charles rita and sam to be fair um oh how much rations did we get for uh, me throwing them into the bag of holding well judging from the time i saved the rum <laughs> i was going to say i'll be saving the rum because it's part of the mission i mean yeah no i saved the rum trust me that i i chose that over the over the uh, rations i just grabbed like a much rations here. i could went and grabbed all the rum and then ran uh to be fair i think we you would manage you managed to. Let me double check my notes see here. I bet you there was a timer as soon as you opened up the secret passage. Oh, there was. Yeah. Secret tunnel. And the mountain. Okay. Uh. Ooh, that's very good. You managed to grab a total of seven days for everyone. So all together, that would be five times seven. That's 35. Yep. That's not 35 happening. rations. Keep it separate then, from your normal bag because you can't open that one. <laughs> No, the other, like, literally, I have the backpack on. I have the bag of holding on my side, the wine flask of distortion on the other side, <laughs> the axe on my back with the, the shield hooked onto the backpack, and I'm running with alcohol and papers under my arms. Uh, just so you know, with all these things. Oh, yeah, I'm overweight. You're, you're over encumbered, and you are, you're not feeling too good, but you quickly notice, everyone, that the temperature around you is quickly cooling off. Thank you me. feel a cold breeze against your face. It's all so wonderful. Oh, thank goodness he's a dwarf. That means he can carry all that shit. My strength is also, I think, my highest stat. No, no strength in con or Sam. Nothing it down. <laughs> yeah, right. That's yeah, that's very as, true. As you continue like going into the the woods, um, you manage to find yourself a place of rest and clearing. <sighs> Please let the snake not bother me. Please let the snake not bother me. Yeah, Sam. Uh, it's the sound of the snake coming closer to us. Yep, you don't hear it anymore. Good. Uh, however, Please. you do hear a, a low-pitched screeching noise right beside you, Charles, as you sit down. And you realize coming. you sit down on a frugal fish that found itself beached. Looks up you and... <laughs> Man, that bitch is getting punted away. Use it as fuel. <laughs> Burn it alive. Yeet. <laughs> Frugal fish are incredibly hard to kill. And on top of it, they do just do not taste good. Well, like yeah, I said, burn it alive. It use it as fuel. <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm trying to get it away from us is the thing. Like, <laughs> you, you go. You hear it <laughs> as it just screeches off into the distance. All right. Fucking a new bloody fish. Me and Charles got to go back to a lizard camp. Where are you need guys to heading to? Uh, we have to... God, what was that guy's name? I lost all my cards because I cleaned off my desk, so I don't know what his name was. We have to go return oh. the gem back. That's what I'm, what I'm saying. Yeah, we I'm have to go to Port Mont Montressor Seaport. We have to go back to it. Which port? Hey, but we need to take a stop at the uh, Lizard Village. Also, we could tell, inform the Green Dragon that it, that, his nemesis, that the uh, Necromancer is dead. Oh, yeah. We gotta it's, get the uh, rum back. And on top of it, why oh, would you want no. to miss so, a chance to talk to a green dragon? I, I thought chromatic oh, dragons were the only nice dragons. Oh yes, they typically are, but in this world, some of them, they are tolerable of people as long as you obey their rules. And we aided this dragon, technically, so... We did a favor. favor. I like how you're having this conversation I, with a person in your party that you have no idea who you're talking to. Yeah. Wait, there's somebody else in our party? Wait, what? Oh, the Wendigo. Is still falling, oh, no, he? he's still back there. Oh, Ooh. who is you it? See a sh you see a shadowy figure just stand, uh, just sitting on a uh, on a stump, just pointing back the way you came. <laughs> Dagger out. Who is it? And that's where we're, I don't know. 
but we're going to find out next session. Oh, next time on Dragon Ball Z. Hey. Oh. This is a breathtaking pace.